everyone in this video we are going to explore the limit form of partial derivative that tells us how a function changes with respect to one variable keeping all other variables as a constant starting with the definition of a partial derivative suppose we have a function that is depending upon two variable x and y a partial derivative of a function with respect to x at a particular point is defined by this this expression represents the change in a function by the small amount of delta x while y is constant. Whereas the partial derivative of function with respect to y at a particular point is defined by this form. In this case we are looking for the change in a function with respect to y keeping x as a constant by the small amount of delta y. Let's work with an example. First example we have taken in this case is function as a x square plus y square. We need to evaluate partial derivative of a function with respect to x. The partial derivative of function with respect to x is calculated by this form. In this case we need a function at x plus delta x comma y as well as function at x y. Function at x y is equal to x square plus y square. Now what is the function at x plus delta x comma y? In that case x is replaced by x plus delta x where y is as it is. This can be written as limit delta x approaches to 0 function at this point is x plus delta x square plus y square minus f of x y is x square plus y square divided by delta x. Simplify this we have limit delta x approaches to 0. Expand this x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x whole square plus y square minus x square minus y square divided by delta x. As this term is get cancelled with this one, similarly this term is get cancelled with this one, we have limit delta x approaches to 0. From here we can take delta x common. Remaining terms are 2x plus delta x divided by delta x. Now this delta x is get cancelled with this one. Substitute the limit. We have 2x. It means partial derivative of this function with respect to x is equal to 2x. This is how we can apply the limit definition in order to find the partial derivative. Although it's very easy to find the partial derivative directly from here, but there exist certain problems where we need to find the partial derivative at a particular point, but by direct calculation, we are not getting the answer. For example, in this case, we need to find the partial derivative of this function. This function is defined as at origin the function value is 0 except origin the function is defined by this form. We need to find the partial derivative of function at origin. In this case to find the partial derivative of function at origin we use the definition form of partial derivative. Partial derivative of a function with respect to x is defined by this form and the partial derivative of function with respect to y is defined by this form. We need to calculate the partial derivative of a function at point 0 0. It means In function, instead of x, we can substitute 0 and this delta x is as it is. y is replaced by the point that is 0 minus f at origin divided by delta x. 
Similarly, calculate partial derivative of function with respect to y at origin. Substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 in this definition. We have function 0, comma, 0 plus delta y minus f of 0, 0 divided by delta y. This is equal to limit. Delta x approaches to 0. Function at delta x comma 0. When you substitute delta x into 0, this term is getting 0 because delta x into 0 divided by delta x square plus 0. So this is as equal to 0 by delta x whole square and that is as equal to 0. In this case, the function value is 0 minus function at origin is 0 divided by delta x. 0 minus 0 is 0. So, limit of 0 as delta x approaches to 0 is equal to 0. It indicates that the partial derivative of the function with respect to x at origin is equal to 0. Similarly, calculate partial derivative of function with respect to y at origin. We need the function value at 0, comma delta y. Means when x is equal to 0 and y is delta y. Substitute in this case, we have 0 into delta y divided by 0 square plus twice of delta y whole square. This is equal to 0 by twice of delta y whole square that is, is equal to 0. Thus this is, is equal to delta y approaches to 0 function value is 0 minus function value at origin is 0 divided by delta y 0 minus 0 is 0 and the limit of 0 is 0. This implies partial derivative of a function with respect to y at origin is equal to 0. This definition provides the best result whenever the function is defined piecewise and we need the derivative at the breakage point.